Trying to learn multiple skills at once is one thing that is hurting your progress. However, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys some ways that you can manage training multiple skills at the same time. Now, I don't think I speak for only myself here when I say that a lot of us got inspired to do calisthenics because of how many cool skills there are to do. And while we all wanna to try to unlock the skills as fast as possible, this might not be the best option. So let's talk about why training multiple skills at a time is not a good idea. When I'm talking about training multiple skills at a time. I'm not simply talking about training just two skills. I'm talking about training three, four, and maybe even five skills at once. The first reason why this is not good is because it destroys the structure of your training program. When you have four, five, or however many skills that you want to achieve at the same time, you lose sight of which one you're really focusing on. And training just becomes unorganized because you feel like one day, you're doing this skill, the next day you're doing another skill, or maybe you're doing two of the skills on the same day, and it feels like the progress is just stagnant because you're mixing things up too much and not focusing on one skill. Once again, forgetting which skill you really care about and that creates a rift in the structure of your training program. Next thing is injury risk. When you're learning new skills, it's very tough for the CNS at first to adapt to what are the proper muscles that should be used in this skill. So when you're first learning skills, you're using every muscle in your body. And then over time, your body becomes more economic in how it's able to perform the skill. So with that said, when you're training a bunch of things that are completely new to you, you highly increase your risk of injury. Once again, because your body is working so much harder to perform them. The other thing is too, you have less time to train your skills because once again, going back to the skills being new, them being more demanding at first, well, now you have less time to focus on training each one. And this can actually get a little stressful and lead you to the point where it's like, am I really even making progress? Should I continue doing this? And that's why I would like to share an anecdote from my training last year. A lot of you guys that have been following, and some of you guys have even just messaged me about this saying like my just progression and mindset has been so much different because in a lot of my videos towards the end of 2021, I was like, I had a very bad attitude. I was constantly complaining about getting injured, not that I was making progress. And I really just didn't feel good about myself at that time. And now I look back at that and I think, wow, well, at that time I was training so many skills at once. I was trying to get VG. I was training Victorian. I was training Pelican. I was training Iron Cross. I was training deep push-ups. I don't even know how that makes sense. I was training Pelican without deep push-ups. I was trying to improve my Maltese. And again, that doesn't make any sense. I was training VG without being confident in my Maltese. So training all of these skills at the same time led to me just constantly, I didn't have, thankfully I didn't have any super serious injuries, but it, let, it was to the point where it's like, I would always have some minor injuries because of just the ridiculous amount of volume and different skills that I was doing at a particular time. From my own experience, guys, be patient and just knock off one skill at a time. And I know what you guys are thinking, well, if I, achieved planche and now I'm ready to focus on Maltese and just start training Maltese and I don't train planche as much, am I gonna lose my planche? The answer is no. You guys, a lot of people don't seem to understand how freaking hard it is to lose your skills. You literally have to go probably like three months without doing any physical activity at all. And even then, you still might not have lost your skills. And even if you did, they will become, they will come back to you extremely quick because muscle memory is absolutely a thing and it especially is with the skills. So don't feel bad if you take some time off of one skill to focus on improving the other skill. 
trust me, they will both end up getting better because of that. Because if you think about it, right, you get stronger in like Maltese or something, that's probably gonna help your planch. That's probably going to help your iron cross. That's gonna carry over to a lot of other skills. The same thing could be said with Victorian. You start training Victorian on rings, you get really good at it. Well, guess what? You're probably gonna get better at stuff like touch front lever, straight arm touch, front lever pull-ups, any skill out of front lever, you're probably gonna get better at from training Victorian on rings. So with that said, of course, there are still some ways that you can train multiple skills at once. And these are things that I actually do in my training and one thing that I would recommend that you guys do. If you are going to try to train multiple skills at once, I would just make sure that they are opposing muscle groups. So for example, if you're trying to learn the planche, I would definitely pair that with trying to learn the front lever as well because they're opposing muscle groups in training, planche progressions and front lever progressions in the same session can offer you a great upper body workout and you will improve. And that's also pretty efficient because you're training them. But doing like, like two push skills in a row, like say you're trying to maybe learn 90 degree push-ups and planche push-ups at the exact same time. Well, first of all, one, why doesn't this make sense? Because one skill is far harder than the other one, that being the planche push-up. And two, again, they use the exact same muscle group. So you're gonna be tired out once you move on to training one of them. And even if you're doing that, them in separate days, you'll still feel that fatigue and that's still just less time that you can put into one skill. So in this situation, the best thing to do would be to first focus on learning the 90 degree handstand pushup and then after that, move on to the planche pushup. I know that seems like it would be something that would be kind of obvious, but even if you look at an example from my own training, I was trying to learn freaking Pelican while sucking at planche pushups last year. So I, I so I don't know, maybe people are, are like that too. But anyway, I do not judge. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Short video today, but I hope the information was helpful for you guys today. Uh, comment below if it was. Also, feel free to comment below any future video suggestions for me. Please like the video if you did. Hit me with a nice subscribe no jutsu so we can get to 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year, and then I can learn the one-arm planche while training that on the same day as the one-arm front leaf. <laughs> that is right. I freaking said it. Now, 5,000 incentive, one-arm planche, and one-arm front lever, people. So hit me with the subscribe button. Thank Thank you so much guys. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.